Okay, so we're still carving the um, outer face of the back for the arch top. This is where we are. Um, what I'm doing is a couple of days ago, I took measurements. I've got this rig here that I've set up. I purchased this uh, drop dial indicator and with a magnetic base. And so it's secure right there on the table saw, which is the flattest surface I have, right? I made this out of a super strong magnet, a grommet that I super glued to it, and then a small pellet, round, you know, spherical plastic job that I super glued to that. So, and then you set it up like this. You need, you need a bunch of width to be able to get the piece underneath there, All right? So I'm, I'm holding the phone in my one hand, so I'm not gonna be able to do this. What we do is, you lift up the dial indicator, you uh, put the piece underneath, and you measure to see what you have. So I did that a couple days ago. See, there's the, there's the gauge. And I translated where I was along the edge to the back template. And I wrote all the numbers down. So t we're in... Uh, uh, hundredths of an inch right here, 230 thousandths. So just under a quarter of an inch, 23, 24, 22. So I did that all the way around it so that I can refer to this and know where I need to, um, to continue to carve on the piece to get it down to 3 16 187. So that's kind of the, where I want to be with you know, reasonably close to the proper contour with any given measurement um, carv uh, curvature template. So, you know, this is, this is close. It's not exact. And I'm not doing the recurve here. I read somewhere that that's really not necessary. And, you know, my first guitar, I'm not going to be super anal retentive about it. But that is pretty darn close far as I'm concerned so I'm happy with it and now so I'm now I'm just removing material with my two finger planes that one and that one I did you know get into the piggy bank and and got an ibex uh, and it works great these both actually work great this one does work does a really nice job as well as as long as you do a good sh job sharpening the irons when they need it so, you know, now the process is to just get it somewhere near 180, 190, all the way around, maintaining the same curve. I've probably got another hour on the top here, and then I'll be able to go to the back. Now for the back, or excuse me, the inside of the back. And what I did here is I've, I've made a template, uh, a, really a holding fixture. And so the plan here, is to set that down like that, get it clamped up, and use the plunge router with a down cutting bit, spiral down cut bit. And I'm going to measure out little areas and draw them roughly on the back of the depth that I need to go with the router in order to leave three eighths of an inch of thickness along. Uh, the surface, because that's what you're trying to do. And so the outside will be, you know, not touched at all, just like this one is, and here's the top. You know, a good portion of the outside is flat. And then you start carving away on the inside. So that's the approach. Uh, I have a feeling it's gonna be probably all of January, maybe, before I get this guy totally done. So that's where we are.